versions. Obviously, you just talked about plays and scoring some basic games. Where do you feel like went wrong there? Obviously, you thought it was wrong that came out being good. Well, again, they, they defended well. You know, so when we tried to do some things in the running game, couldn't punch it in. Passing game, yeah, a little tough out there. We did make some plays throwing as the game went long, but still, uh, just some competitive plays. You know, we throw some competitive balls. We don't come down with it. Uh, their players do, so uh, their, their players made the play. So the inability to run the ball, when you're, when you, to me, when you're really good uh, and really good on offense, you know, when the, score, when the zones get tight and the weather gets bad, you got a little bit of running game. And the games we played well, we've ran it, and we played pretty good run defense. The games that we struggled, we haven't had the run game, so wasn't there today. And credit to Ohio State getting off blocks and having proper leverage and tackling us, and making us throw the ball in a tough sled and throw it. Coach, you, you mentioned the uh, weather conditions. Coach, how much did that affect the way you guys play the game today? I don't know if it affected it. I mean, it's, again, that's a part of, and, and you, know, you know, you know, we can spread it out, but they do too. You know, and their ability to run the ball, line of scrimmage play. Uh, this time of year, you're going to get those kind of days, and you got to be tough enough and strong enough at the line of scrimmage, no matter what your attack is and, and where we're at right now, we're, we're, we're not there. So it affects some. But at the same time, you know, going in, you have some of that. So, um, again, when you're sitting there well into the, I don't think we cracked 100 yards rushing. And I'm sure they were put probably 300. And so, bottom line, that's a format there. It's going to be tough to win games. And there's a lot of teams that do what we do in the spread and actually throw it very, very well. The teams that are really good are still running for two, 250, 300. We haven't been able to do that against good, good teams. That's a credit to their defense and shows where our weaknesses are as we're still trying to grow and get where we need to be. Obviously, it's tough to read this from the sideline, you know, first glance, basically. But in terms of the run game, is it, do you feel like it's, it's blocking? Do you feel like it's the line that's not getting your holes? Is it the back not hitting them, or is what's standing out to you about what's not? Again, really good defenses can cheat the box. Mm -hmm. So they're, you know, the, the, the difference of their linebackers and their safety players showing up. Sometimes where our, our guys don't. So sometimes you can have it all blocked. But then when there's an edge player there, um, and you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, a little bit of last year, you got to give those guys credit. They got all blocks, you know, and and. Um, uh, and all that. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's always blocking, but, you, you know, when we've had good running games, it's, it's not just been the line of scrimmage, it's been perimeter players. So, again, when you're running it or throwing it, you're playing with 11 guys. If you're doing it well, when you're not doing it well, you're misfiring. And so, yeah, maybe, you know, the line, but there's some times I thought we broke down on the edge and we tied in. Uh, there's some times where, again, the day like today, where then maybe Trey's ability to run, which Ohio State has with Braxton. So, if you want to play one-on-one, -on -one, we'll throw it to some fast guys. If you want to spread out, we got good blockers and basically a good two-back running game with, with Carlos and Braxton. So we're building that point. That's the difference between Trey and Nate. Uh, but again, when you don't run the ball, so sit there and blame the line. Yeah, I mean, our line's beat up. You know, so what? You know, I mean, we've also, a couple weeks ago, we had, you know, 300 yards and two guys over 100. So when the line blocks and the running backs run hard, I thought Steven ran hard at the end. But early in the game, we didn't run hard. But also, you got to give credit to Ohio State, getting off blocks. Should see here those safeties showing up, those extra hats in the box. What does Tevin bring to the offense that D'Angelo and Steven may not do? What is what? running the ball? What, do you, what does Tevin bring to the offense in the run game that Steven and D'Angelo may not do? Well, I mean, he's 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 just been he's just a little bit better as far as um, suddenness, explosiveness, um, a little more decisive. You know, taking three and getting you five, taking five and running through a crack and get you 15, 20. The other guys are pretty good, but sometimes you get a little bit more what you block. You know, on a really good back. Sometimes we'll, 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 you know, when, when there's a nickel, he'll get you a dime and a quarter and a little bit more out money for the, for the blocking. So, uh, and we'll see how he goes. He's, he looked a lot better towards the end of the week moving, so we'll see if we get him this week. But at the same time, Stevens played well. The hands against Ben Solid, so we're not void there. Just Tevin is our best player. This morning you decided to start the Angelo today, and just what was sort of your read on how he did? I mean, they both, to me, they're, they're similar. And I think just the, the week of practice, the way he played last week, but he and Steven, and, and, and you know, kind of about the same in what they're doing. Steven's not been poor by any means. And I, I think Steven's actually gotten minor, but, but, but a little nicked up where he's not, doesn't have maybe the burst or as fresh as he needs to be. So D'Angelo played well last week. He was okay today. You know, none of them were particularly good. What were you tell, tell the seniors? You guys obviously had very high hopes at the start of the season for, for getting, a, a, getting a bull bird, and the seniors have, have, have been through a lot. I guess what were you? Tell them tonight. And well, I just told them already, and, and again, my deal, I've never talked about being a bowl team. Never said it to them. We talked about constant improvement, getting better every day. And we're making some strides. It ain't where you need to be. But now I've got some guys that i got a lot of respect for that have hung through some thick and thin with us. 
and and you know, Mitchie, I just told Mitchie what I said, man, those were two great kicks in tough weather, and it hit the bar. I mean, come on now, they were good swings. First one went pushed it, and next one he plays a push and it doesn't push. And I go, I'm not, you know, don't get down yourself. You're the all-time kicker in the school in the school's history. So it's Teddy Bolzer, Kofi Hughes has been awesome. Steven's been a good player. And we got a lot of good seniors. We don't have a lot of them. You know, we will have probably some, I think we've got some some fourth year juniors that this next week will be their last week as well as we go through this. And we'll look at that and talk to you guys about that. I think we have some guys that haven't played much, but potentially going to graduate. And they're set to graduate. But with, but the, the guys that are on the end of their eligibility, Bolser, Deweese Wilson, um, Kofi Hughes, Steven Houston, those guys have been around. Greg Heaven, Mitchie Wald, I got a lot of respect. And what I told them is we're going to have the best week in my three years this next week. And we're going to coach the best. I need them to play their best. We have an opportunity to play a rival. We don't have an opportunity to play the bowl game. We did address that. I said, okay, now we don't have a chance to be a bowl. I've never said we're going to be one. I said, now we don't have that. But we do have the opportunity. And a lot of teams in college don't have a, a strong rival. We do have a great strong rival in, in, in Purdue. It's a trophy game. It's the last game of the year. I want to have my best week as a coach and put our kids in position to have the best week they can, see if we can get the five, see if we can get three conference wins, and see if we can play well. And, and play as well as we can and see if they'll be good enough to get, to get us a victory for these guys in their last go. Yeah, down 14 nothing at the, the block punt. Did you feel that was a, a turning point? Didn't like it. And if you look at it that, and then their two-minute drive before half, you know, it's it's 28, and your offense has been anemic. You played the second half, 14-14. You missed two field goals. You're down there, uh, you know, uh, several times in the second half that, you know, in the quote stat game, it's, it's not too, too much of an even game. But in the conversion game, their ability to convert in the scoring zone and make plays, our inability, the block punt turnover, that's the difference in the walk. Okay. That's a huge play. Okay. And that was a, we'll have to look at that, that was the, the backside guy, which we're kind of reaching unblocked. I think we had our get off time at 194 and went one and under 2 0. And I don't know if we cheated our splits because they actually crammed down because they're coming at it. So possibly we've had too short an edge and we talked about that because that's the widest guy away from where we're punting it. So, it's almost like you're working to the right, you're leaving the widest guy because they got more than you can block. Um, and a standard issue. And your timing was pretty good, so we'll have to look at that. They got one on us last year, too. It seemed like you got both good and bad from both quarterbacks. How would you assess their play today? Yeah, but again, it's, it, yeah, yeah, and um, David and, and um, but again, as we start playing well, we had a little bit of mix, a little bit of run game, a little bit of balance, and the players were right, we blocked a little better, protection was good. It was okay. So, as always, there was a couple throws. I thought the wind got in. One time I thought we had a swing route. You could sell the wind. Pushed it. A couple balls we missed. Um, but in a tough throwing day, it wasn't horrible. It's just when the blocking was good, the run game got going on, no matter who was in, it was it was, it was was better for both of them. Justin, last one. I was going to say real quick, you obviously had a couple guys go down. Uh, do you know which one of those was significant? You had Ralston. Uh, I think Ralston was clear to go back, and I think Danny, I mean, Danny was in on the PAT field goal at the end. Mm -hmm. So I think he got rolled up and, and, and fallen into it. I don't think it's major. So good. Appreciate you being